Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings, it is the year 1095 AD and we still are at the Dodger of Venice. We have lots of titles at the moment, some prestige, some gold. I think it is time for a speech, we could also lash out, um, but I'd rather do a speech to my subjects. That costs me something. By the way, we could also attempt a coup that is being um, suggested here quite some quite often. The thing is, we could then converge to feudal from a republic to feudal to all always become Venezia. That might actually be something that we could do in the future. Right now, I still like to play around with that mechanic there a bit because it gives me a nice amount of pressure to uphold here the highest respect rating in the council. Now, giving a speech, I've decided that. Um, and Charles Speaker, as I continue to speak to Anna, comes forward and speaks quickly, trying to address the audience. There's my daughter. You should listen to him, he knows best about everything in the world. How adorable. Yes, we get some respect. Mm, all marvel us, we had that already. Some 50 respect again. And about the military. As I speak, one of my crowd members raises their hand to speak. My lord, if I may ask, what are your views on the military of our great republic, Republic of Venice? Um, our military is the greatest in the world. 50-50. Uh, or if we can make allies, we do not need military. Our military is the greatest. Both of them are risky. Oh, very good. And we get 100 respect. And that's the speech. Propose an alliance. Who are you? Coscienza. That's down here. It doesn't belong to us. They want an alliance. I'm going to decline. And my vassals are like uh, less likely to join independence, so we are going towards the administrator. While I'm still alive, I would like to continue building something because building right now is cheap and fast because we have the architect trade. Uh, we cannot upgrade at the moment. We don't have the windmills for the city. But I can go towards barns and storehouses. That's a bit more cash. Hmm. Temple still built. There we have the port. Let's let's have the fishing net weavers here. And for Venice we could go with the camp cooks. That gives me also some more levies there as well. Can always can never hurt to have that. In Pisa we have some construction going on right now. Napoli is still increasing control. Cagliari, which is most likely going to be one of my other major holdings in the future, simply because of that mining settlement there. Um, let's have something here. We have the pastures already. We have a harbor here already that I could upgrade. And the farm and fields, another 0 0.5 cash that we can get. So let's build it. Now Capua down here is, um, oh well actually it's the Count of Capua, right, Julian of Capua that is now moved down here to Palermo. He's alone, isolated, let's have the claim on him right away. It's a good city here, development rating of 18, it has some buildings in it already, it has lots of holdings, there would be another city possible here as well. I would like to get that because then we have this whole, well kind of like this whole ocean there more or less under our control with four holdings right away um, and while Venice is still here we should also try to get a hold on the the Balkan here or up to Greece the problem is though yes this is the problem the Byzantine Empire that's basically not going to be possible we would need to get in there somehow else we could offer our vassalage nah that's boring or we could try to scheme our way into that with some succession Camp Cooks, Carver Guild, lots of stuff. We are 27 right now. This is really exploding there. The more buildings we build um, and the better our economy gets. So I'm going to upgrade the port right away. And also the guild becomes the Carpenter Guild. Let's do that. Venezia is actually fully developed right now. There's nothing I could do. All of that would require some additional research. Right. Speaking of research, the battlements, how much longer does this one take? 29 years, oh god. Are we head of culture? No, we are not. Alright, that would be amazing, battlements, because then we could have to keep upgraded and then better houses there. Napoli um, has the mansions, the fishing net weaver, and now the farming fields as well. So it's all serving us economically. There we have the manor house, which is a special house for Salerno. That gives me more money than the farming fields. I'm going to build that, of course. 
And we also found a new secret. Perfect. Secrets are always fine. I'm 66. I should be careful. At least we're no longer overwhelmed by stress. <laughs> we're getting accustomed to our older life. Just need to check this one here constantly. Perfect. And there it is, actually, just a second later, we have died. Lord Mayor Jacobo of Veneto has found peace in Christ's embrace at 66 years age. He died of old age, quick to anger. His mention often resonated with the thunderous echo of his screams. What? All right, I don't have myself like that in mind. But at least I'm under the earth now. So we are playing now as our new one, Dolce Domenico of Venice. We did win, right? We did win, perfect. We are not the most respected house now, of course, because we just started out again. But, yeah, I'm feeling confident. And your leech has passed the Republican law. What? Yes. Nothing has changed here. And still life turn, right? So nothing has changed there. Let's go for stewardship once again. Oh, perfect. He's already trained in the architect tree all the way down. We might actually go for monthly income plus 10% because we have a nice income now. And this will only boost that even further. I also need to look out here. My wife, oh boy, she is fat and old. Uh, my chancellor. My steward, the mayor, once again, it's the same people, basically. It's a small world. Um, he's my vassal, so he becomes my marshal, and... Clara, my daughter, is my spy master. There's nothing that could go wrong here. I don't think so. We don't have enough knights. Um, only five out of seven, so my marshal is going to train some commanders right away. We are not endorsed. Appoint this guy here, Bertoldo as our core physician so that we are endorsed now it's always good to be endorsed a bit my prestige is still pretty bad remember it was at minus 300 because of the marriage with the genius wife she didn't give us any oh well some of my daughters are geniuses or at least intelligent right or quick hmm. fortunately my domenico is nothing he's going with stewardship once again he already has five stewardship points um, for my son, very important. Could we find someone that is useful? Ah, they're old. They're all old. There we have one. There we even have an alliance. And intelligent. Medium. They're not related in any kind of way. That's actually pretty good. Election cycle. You have been elected as the ruler of the Republic of Venice after the untimely death <laughs> untimely of Lord Mayor Jacopo. May you lead the Republic to a golden age. So that always happens when there's a new Dodge coming to town. And that's us, of course. Um, right, so that was one of my decisions. We don't have an, any other alliance than Mercia right now. So I do need more alliances. This is where my daughters are coming into play now. Um, to find us something useful. Uh, England, that's very good. Can we do matrilineal? Can we do matrilineal? Perhaps one that is not matrilineal to get the good alliance. Um, that probably will be England. It's far away. So it's not so much so likely that we can drag it into a war and we just use England as a shield more or less that no one else uh, declines against us. Uh, my second born, though she can be matrilineal now. And we try to find something to lose. Perfect. Get actually into my to my house. And also my next daughter. Matrilineal once again. Aquitan. Steiermark. So something like that. Aquitan sounds good. Prestige. Intelligent. Why not? We're getting some good alliances in here right now. Some four that we have. So no one will attack us again. This is very important that we do this always at the beginning. And I only have one son, though. Um, he better get me some children there, right? So we have to talk with them. There are only six, but they will understand. By the way, he needs my education. Yeah, my education might not be the best. Let's just have a look. Who might go with stewardship skill? None of them is really good. There we have a fortune builder, Elena. You go with him. Give me this give me at least a good trade. And I would really like to divorce. I can't. 
Why can I not divorce? He would not accept this. I could sway him. <laughs> uh, I could murder my wife. Murdering the wife is always a realistic possibility. Especially when it's in the own court. There might be someone joining. A stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the mansion for weeks. Uh, the man bows deeply. My name is Nasr, your highness. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are wary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you. Embrace God and this will be your home. Alright. And he's accepting. So there we got someone. Nasr Sedukit. He might actually help us with something. He's not very good. He's not seen that much. Alright. Um, that we don't need. Declaring war. We could declare world wars right now. But I have no intention about that. I would rather expand slowly. Into what is worth it. So there we have... Yes. This, this guy is very weak. No one is trying to conquer him right now. There is Mallorca. And Mallorca is... It's actually pretty fine. Plus, it's another smaller island. I love smaller islands that we could conquer. It's a bit complicated here, though. Now, he's not good. He's not strong. His ally is not strong. Let's have a claim on Mallorca. This might actually help us out. It's pretty big. Right? It's this whole thing there. Yes. I think so. I think this one is the whole... Those three islands there. I hope so. Oh, and then we have Ibiza, which is currently under siege. Some new constructions have been finished. My money is ever more prosperous. Uh, we can also choose a new renown since we have leveled up our house. Um, Kin is a good one. It gives me the bounteous loins. And with that, fertility bonus of plus 10%. I like that. So it's more likely that we actually gain get children. And then we could continue with the blood. That further down the road gives me more and more traits, positive traits, over the ages. Domenico, he's got no positive traits though, other than curious, than being curious. At least he's healthy, that's a good thing. I still have one more daughter, and we might still find us someone for the house. Some mayor, nah, no one wants to get to know her oh okay my mayor is really bad at the, w at the stuff that he's doing this guy here and he's only my mayor I should probably get someone else there is no one all right murder scheme it's not coming along so nicely I will probably need to find some secrets in Venice so someone helps me also, we have the claim. He's quite busy with other um, wars right now. He's got lots of soldiers, to be honest. I'm a bit surprised at that. Um, his ally is not very strong, though, and has some wars of his own, too. I might still declare war on him, right? We could act. Oh, we could also go for holy war. Since I have the piety, a claim would not have been pos uh, necessary creating one. But I actually want to get it myself, right? So we're going to get with the claim. Of the Shake Dome of Mallorca. Oh, we don't have the prestige. Okay, yeah, we're going with the Holy War. Oh, this is tricky. No, other Muslim rulers would join the war or could join the war. Let's wait until I have a bit more prestige. We could create the title of Pisa after all to get a bit of prestige. We could also go on a hunt. Cost me a bit of money. Money is something we have enough. So let's do that. And can we upgrade? Yes, we can upgrade to barns and storehouses here. And here perhaps also something that gives me a boost to my military. The barracks. I'm not going with any additional alliances though. Um, the spears lies perfectly balanced in my hands as I adjust the distance to the stack. My Chancellor, Mayor Alaramo, oh god, nothing ever good comes out when he is involved. Um, hefting his own spear. I will bring it down. Yes. This is actually prestige. 150. 
hunt is drawing to an end. That was a rather quick one. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the servants prepare the stack and other game for the journey. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Another 150 prestige. How good is that? Let's get the golden obligations once again to sell some hooks. Just in case. Since the murders game against my wife is not very successful at the moment, we need to murder the next potential dodger. His house is a bit stronger than us right now. That is Dandolo. Um, let's try to murder this one. Oh, that seems very unlikely too. I might need to use some tricks here, but lots of people would join. Yes, let's also give him the plush and car the plush carpet. That's something. And let's just see. Duke Conrad of Luxembourg. Who are you? Why would you want to join? I don't know these people. The mayor? Right, that's a bit something here. So we are at 50% at least. It's very important that we do this. Despite being expensive. Nah, not that expensive though. 75 is fine. Right, and some other people might still join. Oh, by the way. We could also just have the support scheme. And this should also give me another boost. It didn't. <laughs> The murder scheme was discovered. I will have to try again in a couple of years. I'm also increasing the sizes of my levies once again. This is dragging down my money and my monthly income a bit by 0.3 per unit. So that's fine. Um, also my siege weapons and perhaps a few more arches. Right. So this is quite the increase making us way more powerful. Also we have discovered another sinful bishop that we could probably blackmail blackmail this guy here and a call of war call to war yes we can do that not the most important ones unfortunately also down here Palermo has been kind of like is now in the kingdom of Sicily so nothing we can do anymore he's safe within the kingdom of Sicily now so no chance at this expansion we, we still do have a couple of good things here that we can still use. And by the way, the control is rather low. I could also think about converting the culture. Um, that makes them more likable towards us. How much money do we get out of the collect taxes though? I have no idea. Let's try this one. Ah, that was a bit of a loss, but I think converting them to our culture is better long term wise. And we should do the same thing there as well with Pisa. Otherwise, they will always hide us and always lower the control. Once again, the mistreatment. Nothing that I would need to do there. I can also not upgrade. And Julia comes of each. And we also get a new perk. A bit more tax contribution. My wife died. Oh my goodness. What a shock. Without a murder plot. She just died. She just knew that her, that, well, her story is over. Thank you very much, wife. That was one last, one last good thing you did to me. Um, we can find us a new wife now. It's really not about alliance in this case here. I would like to find me a good wife. Probably someone that is already grown up. So we can make at least some more babies. Yes, this is looking good. Ah, it's my cousin. Um, Asta, she's intelligent. Medium chance for anything. I'm losing 300 prestige out of that. They are all pretty bad. I don't want to lose my prestige though. Let's have a look at their power, their potential one. Mm. Alright, that might be possible. Yes, we do get some prestige out of that. Medium chance for children. Let's go for that. So we are together now. <laughs> A rapacious adventurer, Dogaressa Inga Thorstutter of Venice. Now, that's a beautiful name. L we get once again the cattle herd in Veneto. I'm not complaining about that one bit. Ah, whoa. Pretty cool. We can upgrade once again to farmsteads now. So, Kyocha is getting really good. Yes, and let's also upgrade the hamlets there. So, both of them are going to upgrade. Very, very nice. We got some very good core counties here, core domain that is prospering now. 
We still need to find a few more synergies so the whole thing can grow even more exponentially. That is the important thing. We are 47, so we still have a long reign, hopefully in front of us, a nice daughter, and hopefully the chance for more sons. But of course, he's my firstborn, and it's looking good with him. My house should be growing. Yep, we're coming close to 3,000, so we are soon going to overtake him, I guess. We should just should not die. And I could also now increase the crown authority. Ah, uh, yes, it's a tricky decision. We don't have that much. Oh, thank you very much. My wife just gave me 150 prestige. So, now we have a bit more prestige. And she's pregnant. The gods truly smile upon us. Stay tuned. <laughs>